Hello everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a little video to show how I updated my Raspberry Pi. Just recently put on the latest version of Pi Play and did a bunch of updates and also changed the skin on uh, Final Burn and here's like my new intro. A little bit more Neo Geo style. Got the music in the background. Hits it pretty good instead of that THX like I had before. Looks a little cooler, I think. Loading into this game, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. This game must be kind of taxing to the little Raspberry Pi because uh, I noticed a lot of, uh, I don't know, s skipping in the sound, a little scratchiness on it. You'll see here in a second once I get going. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's almost like uh, like uh, what happens when the uh, emulator does like a, a auto skip, frame skipping or something like that. But uh, you'll see here right now. Okay. Yeah, you can probably hear it here a little bit. Okay, right here off the bat, yeah, you can hear it skipping on the sounds. It, I mean, it's it's kind of annoying. Well, it's really annoying, but uh, I mean, at least it works. It's playable. And another look at my. Uh, custom work there. Uh, this is just a little bit of photoshopping but uh, I'm really happy with the way this uh, skin looks that it, on the background here. Looks more fitting to Neo Geo. The previous one that Final Burden comes with looks a little, I don't know, cartoony, whatever. This game too this game has a, a bit of skipping in the sound too. I mean, if anyone has any ideas what they've done to eliminate the weird sound skipping or anything like that, please comment, because I'd love to uh, find out how to get rid of this. Did overclock this to 900 megahertz, but I don't have heat sinks on any of my chips, so I don't think I want to go any higher than that. You'll see what I'm talking about here. This is another game that apparently, I guess a lot of people have issues with getting working, but uh, yeah, I didn't have any problems with this one either. Right off the bat, you can hear it. Yeah, and the skippings. Yeah. It's, it's playable, but yeah, it's just annoying. So, I mean, you could even see in the frame rate kind of like uh, stuttering a little bit. The weird thing was I, I played that game a little earlier, and it seemed to play pretty good. I mean, I don't recall it uh, doing anything. So I don't know if it's... Uh, things loading up or whatever but uh, anyways uh, this last one is another game that people seem to have problems with and actually I had problems with it on the previous version of uh, Final Burn or uh, Pi Play or whatever I could not get, this is the only game that I couldn't get to work before, but now it works. Uh, and it actually runs perfectly, so, I mean, I was really happy with that. Uh, it's really smooth, no sound skipping, anything like that, so, you know, real happy to see basically all the, every Neo Geo game is working on here now, but only the really big ones have any kind of sound skipping issue. But, like, I'd say that's maybe like a handful of games, maybe like five in total that have any kind of weird skipping or anything but uh yeah this one plays perfect uh, haven't had any frame drops no sound skip no scratchiness nothing real happy with this one glad it works and everything and yeah, you can check it out everything's smooth as butter yeah nice and fast Yeah, it works pretty good. 
Um, the only problem I'm having now is everything's working good. I got it all auto-loading into the final burn like this and everything, but um, my buttons are out of order and I can't go into Pie Play and change them because it doesn't seem to save it or something. And I tried manually overriding it, but uh, it won't save it. So anyone got any help on that too, how to manually edit the config to uh, fix the buttons, that'd be awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching.